Hello, it's Olimik. In today's video, we will be cleaning Catlatic on my 2017 Toyota Camry. And the reason I do Catlatic cleaning, it will give the computer better reading with the oxygen sensor. Therefore, you will have better fuel economy. So I try to do that once every year. So I did Catlatic cleaning with this canister. I fill it up with water and carpet cleaner and spray it like this and then start up the engine. But this will need some equipment, this canister and also you will need a compressor to create that pressure. But in today's video I will make it easier and I will show you how to use this cleaner. This is a DPF and catalytic cleaner. We don't have DPF because this is for diesel engines. DPF stands for diesel particle filter. If you don't know what is diesel particle filter, it's like a filter after catalytic converter. It will catch any drop of diesel after catalytic converter. So we don't have this, but we have the catalytic. So we will clean that with this cleaner. So before using any catalytic cleaner, we have to locate the catalytic. In this case, we have it under this cover and we have to remove the oxygen sensor and spray it from there and then put it back and start the engine and that cleaner will do its job and flush all that cleaner but there are other things you should know before using any catalytic cleaner the engine should not be hot otherwise it will crack the catalytic so manufacturer recommends to have the engine under 40 degrees celsius before using the cleaner so we are just gonna start the engine for one minute and then turn it off Here is the cleaner. It comes with this straw that we can send it from oxygen sensor and spray it over there. And I will also be using Inscope camera so we can check it how it looks now and after cleaning. Alright, let's remove these four bolts and then remove the cover so we can have access to catalyst and also oxygen sensor. Okay, the cover is removed. Next, we're gonna remove the oxygen sensor, but before doing that, we can unplug it here and then remove this clip so when we're removing the oxygen sensor we don't twist the wire and damage it all right i'm gonna use the endoscope camera to see how the catalyst looks before using the cleaner this car is catalytic not that bad because the fuel injector is in good condition and the burning fuel in good state. But some of the holes are clogged due to driving in the city always. So we will see how it will clean all these clogged holes. Alright let's check the can really well and then put the straw on. Now we can spray it from oxygen sensor hole. It's a good idea to use endoscope camera when you spraying so you don't miss any spot even though these cans have a lot of foam and it will cover every spot it's very satisfying when you use the inscope camera and you actually see how the foam going down all right i just sprayed the whole cleaner now we're gonna put the oxygen sensor back and drive the car on a highway maybe for 20 minutes and then check it again So when you start the engine, you will see some black liquids coming out from the exhaust. It's a good indication that it washed all that from the catalyst. Alright, we are back. We're gonna give the engine some time to cool down and then we're gonna remove the oxygen sensor and check the catalyst to see if it's being cleaned or not. Alright, moment of truth. Let's check it again after cleaning. Here's how it looks. All the clogged holes are gone. It's slightly lighter in the color. If you compare it with the before picture, but the important part are the clogged holes, all are open now. Let's put everything back and we are done here. And that is how to clean catalyst without having any expensive tool. I will make sure to put all the products and the tools in the video description box below including this spray and also if I find better ones as well. Hope you found the video useful and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.